Salinas. So the marine layer, a little more expansive than previous days. That's actually good news in terms of fire danger. You see all that moisture that's stretching even as far inland as places like Gilroy and Hollister. Anywhere where you see the red on this map though, that's where we're not seeing as much of that marine influence and it's still exceptionally dry out there, especially for this time of the day. So that's a big part of the reason that we still have the red flag warning. And I would say today actually looks like the highest fire danger that we've seen this season for Monterey County and San Benito County, mostly because of the heat that we've had this entire week, how dry it's been this entire week, just drying out all the fuels. But then it also looks like in Monterey County and San Benito, we'll have some winds over 20 to 25 miles per hour, whereas Santa Cruz Mountains still doesn't look all that windy. Although again, because it's so dry, they do also have the red flag. Then on top of the fire danger, we still have the heat. It's, I believe, day four of the heat wave at this point. And today and tomorrow, there's almost a second peak to this heat wave, where today and tomorrow should actually be the warmest days that we've seen this week, especially for our inland cities like Morgan Hill or Gilroy. You notice that in the Central Valley, they're still around 110 degrees, 119 for Palm Springs, 118 for Redding. So we're at least not that hot. And at least we're going to start to cool down next week. Through the weekend though, it still looks like that big ridge that's been creating all this heat is still intact. And as I mentioned, even strengthening throughout the day, today and tomorrow. Very different story though, depending on where you are on the central coast. For example, if you're up in Boulder Creek, it's about day three or four of this heat, so you're probably pretty tired of it at this point. 79 for Capitola though, you're probably just loving those conditions, especially for the 4th of July yesterday. We did see some of those coastal clouds kind of pushing over our beach, a number of our beaches yesterday late afternoon. Should see the marine layer pull back to the beaches as we get into this afternoon and then push back in as we get later into today. 65 for Carmel, but you notice Morgan Hill was around 104, so we still have that big contrast between the coast and inland areas. Just want to reiterate, excessive heat warning through the weekend and then also pretty high fire danger today. So still a good idea to be careful out there.